I know my car, <laughs> and I am not a head of state, but I tried to be, <laughs> um, and came very close. Right? Uh, we won't talk about that. Uh, I've been asked to uh, lead off, uh, as Excellency President Macron was to be here, a little bit late, I'm going to get to here momentarily. But uh, I'm honored to be here, uh, and uh, I want to thank France uh, and uh, the Republic of Korea, Sweden, the UAE, the United Kingdom, and all of the endorsers of the tripling of nuclear energy for partnering with us here. I was thinking if you look up there, it looks like we're almost in the middle of a nuclear reactor. <laughs> in the heights here. But we're all here uh, for the most serious uh, of moments. What is happening on our planet is human-induced. It's not a difficult equation to figure out. You don't need a new breaking of a code. You don't need rocket science. You don't need some new equation to be presented. It is simple. We are unfortunately burning fossil fuel in a way that is just unmitigatingly putting emissions up in the atmosphere and it's warming the planet. We know this. Science is clear. No debate about that. Maybe a debate about which technology is best or how you proceed, but not about the cause of the crisis on this planet. And we're now seeing impacts that are defying even what scientists predicted. This past summer, it was 70 degrees Fahrenheit above normal in the Arctic. It was 100 degrees Fahrenheit above normal in the Antarctic. And every week, every month, yesterday, we learn we're breaking another record. This is the hottest year in record. This will be now confirmed. But how many times have you heard? Last year was the hottest year. The year before that, for 30 years, the years preceding have been the hottest. And it keeps going up. So the urgency of our summoning a greater response to this table could not be more clear. And our citizens all across the planet are changing the politics of the planet because the politics are affected by the perception that adults are not behaving like adults and governments are not delivering what people want, which is clean air, safe delivery of energy, and, and to begin to move to the future and the stronger economies that comes with this transition. The IPCC, best scientists in the world, were crystal clear in 2018 when they said to leaders of the world, you have 12 years within which to make and implement the key decisions that will prevent the worst consequences of the climate crisis. We now have seven years, six really. So my friends, this is uh, a moment, and the UAE has done a terrific job bringing us together to summon us to this task. Now, to get where we want to go, we have a very straightforward, understandable task. We have to cut emissions. That's the way we solve this problem. That's what's causing the warming in the first place, and we have to invest. I'm not saying give away. I'm saying invest the trillions of dollars that are sitting on the sidelines looking for bankable deals, but not willing to move as fast as we need to move. That is why the United States is pleased to launch the declaration to triple nuclear energy with more than 20 countries from four continents. Now, we are not making the argument to anybody that this is absolutely going to be the sweeping alternative to every other energy source. No, that's not what brings us here. But we know because the science and the reality of facts and evidence tell us that you can't get to net zero 2050 without some nuclear just as you cannot get there without some use of carbon capture, utilization, and storage. These are just scientific realities. No politics involved in this, no ideology involved in this. This is about mathematics and physics and some chemistry and biology. Pretty simple. Not so simple to get everybody to agree what we're gonna do. I served in the United States Navy in, 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 in the US years ago. Uh, too many, right? Uh, and 
We served with, with I was not on, stationed on a nuclear ship, but we worked with them. And those ships have been plying our oceans since 1954, when the Nautilus was first commissioned, first nuclear vessel, submarine. And I'll tell you, we have never had an accident, we've never had a spill, we've never lost one sailor in all those years since 1954. We know how to manage this. And with SMRs, small modular reactors, with the research being done at MIT and Stanford and, and, and Berkeley and countless universities, I was in Romania recently, I was at the university there, everybody's engaged in this task. So we're talking about a different paradigm, a different standard of, of, of safety and of knowledge that we bring to the table to make this happen. And it is clear that nuclear currently provides, people sort of forget this, nuclear currently provides about one third of the clean power globally, right now. And we are meeting an ever growing demand for energy with nuclear around the world. Plants are being built, we're building in the United States. Bill Gates and uh, Breakthrough Energy has a, a plant, Wyoming, that's being built. We have a plant out in Idaho in our laboratory. Uh, China's building them, Russia, Romania, Poland, countries all around the world still understand this is a necessary ingredient of energy provision. Nuclear is uh, one of the ways in which we meet this challenge of net zero by 2050 and maybe beat it significantly. Uh, almost half of our carbon-free power is nuclear. And it's the key to our ambitious clean energy goals.